Hi. Hello from Arizona. Well, hello. Hello from Canada. Okay. All right. Oh, thank you, Royal Reflections. I actually just got back from... Oh, God, you have pneumonia. Yikes. Um, I just got back baby frauded, had a concert, um, a band concert, like their band assessment, like their um, thing. So I was there and now I'm here. Um, hello from Big Ed Street. Go find Big Ed. <laughs> hello from downstairs. <laughs> had her life mates on, you guys. He's there. <laughs> um, God, pneumonia is going around. Ugh. Everybody's sick with something. Um, don't give it to me. I have a compromised immune system. Um, Texas, Oregon, frauded fam. Sarah Sunshine, you won um, Hanakawa's giveaway. <laughs> yeah. Um, lots of viruses. Keep it to yourselves. Don't get them on me, please. Um Hi. So, okay. So we have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm going to recap the, um, Yolanda Williams Uche stuff that we had earlier this week. So I'm going to recap some of that. And then I've got some other just smaller random stuff that's coming. Do you want me to do the Yolanda stuff first? (laughs) Do I work at Golden Corral? Hi, Pierre. If you're, I'm, I, I'm not even going to warn you. I'm just going to kick you out if you start being a dick, okay? Is Love After Lockup still on right now? Doesn't it end at 10? Okay, so you want to start with Yolanda. Okay, I will do that. So, okay, so on the show, as you know, she's going with, um, so she, the story is her and Williams, and we all know Williams is catfishing her, right? So, um, the question is, you know, who's this Williams guy? Who is she going to see, you know, she, on the show? She doesn't know that he is, well, you know, catfishing her or whatever, but I think she does, but they're pretending to be, to be not. Um, I do do Married at First Sight on the Patreon. Um, <laughs> so, So she's got this thing going on with, um, you know, Williams, right? And so we had started looking into who this Williams character might be. And there had been, um, going back on her Instagram, there had been a couple of gentlemen who had made comments on her page that were like lovey comments. And there were two different individuals. And um, there were all like lovey comments. I love you, this, that, the other thing. So we suspected one of the two of those, or both, might be Williams. And um, so we started digging into those two. One of them was the the, the person's name is Marvin Williams. Um, yeah, Jax, I saw that. We'll get to that. Um, and then the other person's name was Uche, or Guche, you can call him that. But his actual name is Uche. So we were looking at these two individuals, the possibilities of being Williams. And, um, so some of the, some of the, um, news outlets sort of took it and ran with it. Um, no, (laughs) um, (laughs) yes, Texas lady, he's single. Um, and so some of the news outlets took it and ran with it and said that Uche was Williams and he was scamming her. So this got out all over in um, Nigeria, and Uche was like, um, like uh, he he started to get um, a reputation. People were like, "You're scamming," and he's like, "It's not me. It's not me. It's not me." And so um, he contacted me, wanting to um, wanting to clear his name. So we talked. So when he first started reaching out to me, it was Monday night. And <laughs> it was Monday night, and we were about to sit down to record the podcast. So it was me, um, Agency, and Hanakawa, and I'm getting these texts. So I'm sharing them, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. We're like, wait, huh, what? So, and then the next day, I continued to talk to him, and we figured it out and everything else. And um, 
And then, as as you guys know, I went live with him on Tuesday night. And, you know, the connection was kind of shitty because, you know, he was in Nigeria and the Wi-Fi there, you know, was shitty and stuff. Um, So I've been asked to recap sort of what happened with all that, who that guy is and everything that's happened. So Uche is one of the guys. She Uche is a guy that Yolanda met on Instagram and um, they have never met in person, but they had met on Instagram and sort of became... Instagram dating, I guess, if that, you know, if that makes sense. Um, They were, uh, um, so that they were, you know, dating or whatever. Um, We posted a bunch of screen grabs that, um, that, that Uche had given us. And you can see from those, if you can read those, that, that they, um, they show Yolanda's relationship with him as being kind of odd. Like sometimes they were like really close and sometimes, you know, she was being a bitch to him and then he, she would block him and then she'd come back to him. Um, so, but what we know from all of that is that, um, Uche is not Williams and that Uche tried to warn Yolanda about Williams. Now, Williams, we know to be, this Marvin Williams guy who's also Nigerian. So I guess she had started to talk to this Williams guy and was telling Uche about it. And Uche's like, no, that sounds like a scam baby. You know, if you never get to see his face and all of that kind of stuff, then, you know, it sounds like a scam. And then he started commenting on her pictures saying, oh, I love you. I love you. Blah, 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 blah. And then I guess Williams would get mad about that. And so Yolanda blocked Uche. It's so it turned into um, like a big, like, I don't know. So (laughs) I don't know what to call it. Um, It turned into this like thing. And uh, at the end of it all, Uche was still dating um, Yolanda and wanted, and, and he was like, what? Um, because she was kind of being, she's doing this thing with the show and nobody liked her doing this thing with the show. Um, so, so we have, so we have the video of him explaining. He also, um, just, he really wanted to declare his name that he's not Williams. He is not, um, scamming anybody. And in fact, it looks like Yolanda may have scammed him. Now, when he started getting called out on saying that he was a scammer, he went to Yolanda and Yolanda was like, um, Oh, quit being such a baby. He called him. She, she called him a little bitch basically. <laughs> and, um, and so, um, so he got mad at Yolanda because Yolanda wasn't sort of having his back on this. And, um, <laughs> yeah, we thought Yolanda was clueless anti, and turns out no, she's she's a scammer. So, um, and if you read those text messages, you can see that she, yeah, she was doing it to sell her book. She told this to Uche, um, <laughs> hey, Scorp. Um, I'm trying not to read messages right now. Um, so, um, yeah, so, and now Yolanda's trying to do damage control, putting his stuff out there. She posted something just like a few hours ago, basically saying, you were never my type, blah, 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 blah. Like, just being a, I mean, I, I don't say this often about cast members, but she's being a straight up cunt. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, um, so Uche is now single. He lives in Nigeria. Um, if you want to, um, slide into his DMs, he's available. Um, lunchbox, you need to go out. Go see daddy. Go see daddy. Um, I know I use the C word. Sorry. She's a cunt cake. How about that? Is that better? <laughs> um, you know, so 
they were, they were, um, <laughs> Garrity Daddy. Hey, head of life, mate. Lunchbox is on his way down. Um, I don't know. Uche is never going to be able to come to America, but he has a job. He manages a restaurant. Um, his boss and his, <laughs> um, his friends and stuff all believe him now, um, that after he went live with me, apparently that video went viral. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, so go ahead and slide into his DMs. <laughs> hey, Sasha. And um, there you go. If you missed the live, it is on my YouTube. And you guys, please go and um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please, please, please. The subscriptions matter, not just the, the volumes. She wrote a book called Diet Not. She self-published it. It's self-published <laughs> it's diet not 2017 is her is her at um she's a country source rex <laughs> i'm a bigger star in nigeria than soldier boy yes um that video so all of my youtube videos they get like maybe um 100 to 200 like views that one has like almost 3,000 now <laughs> which is like what um so yeah and you guys can ask you guys can opt out of notifications but the subscriptions actually help me be, be get to a point where i can like get ads or something anyway and um yeah if her book is free why is she promoting so hard i don't know I don't know. She's not very bright and she doesn't make a lot of sense just reading the text messages. Um, yeah, it's she's just go and read the text messages, you guys, that are posted. I haven't posted. Hanakawa hasn't posted. Um, <laughs> so UJ is all good now. He, oh, hi. Hey, baby. Um, snack pack is here. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens on the show. Um, but yeah, we know Uche is not, hi baby. We know Uche is not Williams. I, I don't know what is going to happen on, um, on, on the show. I heard my voice in the background. I, I turned you down. Okay, good. <laughs> Head of life mate just walked in with the dogs. Um, did Uche get his AirPods yet? You guys have to send him his AirPods. <laughs> um, Lunchbox and Snack Pack are both here, yes. Um, so, um, so that's the Yolanda stuff. Okay, hi, hi, hi. Mm. Okay, so I got both of them. There's both of them. There's the hetero life mate. <laughs> You guys, he has his own Instagram now. It's hetero, at hetero life mate. Go follow him. Somebody was already up in his DMs today, and he had never experienced that. This woman was totally hitting on him, and he had no clue how to handle it. It was actually kind of cute. Um, shit, send me AirPods. I got AirPods for Christmas this year because this guy. Oh, not this guy. This one. <laughs> not not lunchbox. Okay, what's up with Ash? Okay. Um, <laughs> so the, the news I have on Ash is that since the filming of the show, Ash has gone to see, um, Avery in Seattle, uh, twice. Who do I need to block? Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so Ash um, has gone to see her twice. So uh, the one who is violent with his exes is Jeffrey. We're not, we don't have anything on him, except he's trying to clear his name by going to individual bloggers and trying to say, proclaim his innocence. He blew up my inbox trying to give me his sob story, and I kind of just didn't care. Um, so the DM <laughs> Yeah, some girl, she doesn't even follow me. Um, and she, I don't know how she found him, but, um, we have not talked about baby girl Lisa yet, Allie. Um, we've talked about Yolanda. I was just, um, recapping what had happened earlier this week with Yolanda. Um, 
and Ash, yeah, Ash has been to Seattle a couple of times. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, um, you guys probably saw, you guys always ask me about Nicole and as in she has been hinting that she's going to go to Morocco. Um, she posted all this Moroccan money that totaled to about 158 us dollars. Um, so she's trying to make it look like she's going to Morocco. Maybe she is, maybe she isn't. I don't know. But, um, rumors are going around that she, um, is filming again. And if that's the case, then, um, TLC isn't aware of it <laughs> at this point. My sources at the network, um, have said, um, they haven't heard anything about her and no one has mentioned her in a while. So we don't think she's actually filming. So, um, yeah. Um, Tiffany and Ronald went live today announcing that they've reconciled. Um, she's still in South Africa. Um, okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to have to nip this one in the butt again and, I've been trying to debunk this for like two weeks now, but there's this rumor going around that Lisa and Usman are divorced and it stemmed from her changing her last name on Instagram or no on Facebook. And, um, she just went back to her maiden name and marked herself as single. Now somebody said, Oh, that must mean that means that she's divorced. And that is not the appropriate conclusion to draw from that. That could theoretically be evidence to, to go look into it which we did, we looked into it and we found that they are very, still very, very much together. Um, this rumor just won't die though. Like it keeps getting picked up and it keeps getting life, but, um, it is not like there's, there's no truth to the rumor that Lisa and us men are divorced. Um, they're still very much together. She just changed her name to comply with what her, um, and NDA, something. Yeah, she does regret the show. Um, and her ex put her through some shit is what I know. Um, it has nothing to do with us men. It has to do with her ex. Um, yeah. So Lisa has some problems with her ex, uh, ooh, excuse me, who's causing some problems, but, uh, it, and that's why she regrets the show, but yeah, Matt, you're right. There's a screen grab. It's on my page. It's that, um, who is Osman? That's Soldier Boy. So, yeah, we have her confirming, um, that she's with him, that they're still together. You're trying to think, baby girl, Lisa? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any info on Tariq and Dean. I do not. What's an Usman? <laughs> you guys are funny. Come here, baby. Yeah, I have boogers. I, yeah, I don't have anything on Tariq and Dean. What am I drinking? I am drinking Wegmans Lime Sparkling Water. Hey, does Dallas Radio Girl work in radio? Dallas Radio Girl, do you work in radio? Hetero Life Mate wants to know. Um, are you on there? Oh. Yeah. I'm oh, that's really weird. Watching the chat. Oh, thank you. Is there anything I need to know? I'll let you know if you <laughs> Okay. Something. What about the Navy guy that was married to Lita? Uh, Eric. I don't have any, any new information on them. Without sugar? Yeah, there's no sugar in this, I don't think. Yeah, it's it's sparkling water. It's like... She does. She does. Well, you can talk what, to her. What radio station? I don't know. You did talk to her. Ask her. <laughs> I, um, Samit and Jenny are both in India right now. They are um, on and off filming his divorce. I don't know what the TLC is planning with Yolanda's storyline now. Yeah. Slide in her DMs. I'm not going to slide anybody's DMs. <laughs> That's Melissa. 90 Day Fiance meme. That's I'm Melissa. Hi, Melissa. You, she's sent me, like, crystals and shit. 
Oh my god. <laughs> SMR me sipping. Fun fact, uh Hanakawa does AM, AM, ASMR um chewing stuff. What's ASMR? I forgot what it stands for, but it's like that people get soothed by the sound. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um No DM slide. I'm not sliding anybody's DMs. Do I know if Darcy's going to be on the show with that guy, Tom? Yeah, she's going to be on with Tom. It's 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 kind of like the the season she had with Jesse, with um, you know, with them breaking up. It's that's the thing. That's that's the the story arc for them. Darcy should find a Nigerian man. Um. Yeah. No, after Tom? No, she's not going to be on with, I don't think. I don't think she's going to be on with the other guy. There there was a Love is Blind reunion. Oh, recap of the reunion? Uh, I don't know. Um, whatever happened with Talker Shits, her court case gets continued every month. So... They have a status conference at the end of every month, and the next one will be the end of March. Um. <laughs> You're tired of Darcy? Well, Darcy's getting her own show. She's getting a spinoff. Yeah, Darcy and Stacey are having their own show. Are Darcy's lips getting their own show? No. It just means that she the 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 trial is going to be postponed until they're ready, I guess. <laughs> Maybe Williams is Darcy. <laughs> I really want to see Darcy goes to rehab. But I'm never going to get it. They film Darcy all the time. So I think her spinoff is going to be a place where they deposit all of that, like, footage that they have of her. <laughs> yeah, well, they're doing a season two of Chantel and Pedro. So I don't have any more tea this week. Yeah. <laughs> if you have questions for me, I'm happy to answer them. Yeah. Um, uh, CK, I recapped the Yolanda Uche stuff and some of the Ash stuff about him going to Seattle. I don't have a ton this week. We are going to recap tonight's Love After Lockup, um, on our Patreon this week. If you are, if you want to hear us recapping Love After Lockup and Married at First Sight, we do that on our Patreon. Link is in my bio or Hedekawa's bio. Why is Ricky back on Instagram? <laughs> Clinton Tracy. Yeah, there. I mean, you've seen Clint's stuff. He's been posting craziness. Um, How is Baby Frada doing on driving? He's just waiting for March 26th to get his license. Hey, can you ask Dallas Radio Girl if, if, if uh, which company she works for? Uh, Dallas Radio Girl, uh, how do a life mate wants to know what what? Which company? You Which company for? you work for? Um, Hannah Call was here, you guys. Woohoo! <coughs> How much for our Patreon? The um, for content, it starts at three dollars a month, so it's super cheap. Um, and then you could do five dollars a month, and I'll give you stickers. Yes, I save my lives when I'm done with it. Oh, look. Look who's coming to say hi. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Tony. <laughs> How much are mugs? Dirty picks are 10 bucks. <laughs> what? 
Are you talking about your own dirty books, Hannah Kala? She's talking to you, Dallas Radio Girl. Is. Oh, wait. What'd she say? Susquehanna or oh. Clear Channel or both. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so the the lives are in my stories for 24 hours, and then they get put up on my YouTube. So... <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You guys are so gross. <laughs> what is my YouTube? It is frauded by TLC on YouTube. Um, um, I have some good fun partnerships coming up soon. Um, and I, that you guys may have seen, I posted that I am, um, Going to New York City in a couple of weeks. I'm trying to. We're we're figuring out dates, but that's going to be really fun. I'm very excited for that partnership. Um, <laughs> yes, he has he has permission. I don't, I don't even know how. Oh God! Go to her profile and send message. That's no, fine. I already, I found out my answer. Tony, stop it. <laughs> Just TLC turned a blind. They don't know. Well, okay. So here's my here's the theory on. TLC and my sources inside TLC. So either they don't know who's giving me information from TLC or Sharp, depending on I've got sources inside production and inside the network. So either they don't know or they do know and they're um, feeding them information for me to leak specifically to see what the reaction is like they're using me for that i don't know i'm not collaborating with yates ever <laughs> go lay down watch watch go lay down <laughs> yeah so we don't know um i don't know the information that i get from my inside sources whether they're it was like intentional leaks or whether no. if they got caught leaking to me, they'd get in trouble. Um, no updates on Akini and Ben. We're still waiting on her um, visa, apparently. <laughs> me being used by a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I believe, I don't have anything to back this up, but I sometimes think that TLC uses me to leak information and, like, maybe um, gauge audience reaction. A lot of stuff, like, they don't want me to leak. Like, the submit is married. That was not a, an intentional TLC leak. That came from another source. But um, I don't have anything on Rebecca and Zied. Yeah. So I think they, I think TLC has a love hate relationship with me because they, um, they both love that I, I generate this kind of buzz, but then if it's the wrong type of information, it's going to ruin some of the show. Dude, kick that pure delecto guy out. Oh, is he being a dick again? Yeah, okay. Kick him out. He's a troll. Yeah. So he comes in every week and. Yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. Um, does TLC follow you? TLC, the, the TLC um, Instagram account, the 90 Day Fiance, <coughs> they do follow me. Um, I'm sure they follow me other and under other alts and stuff too, but they don't reach out to me specifically. I don't know when Colty's coming back. Um, we know he is on a version of Happily Ever After, but we don't know when that's coming out. Larissa's fine. She's coming out on Happy Way Ever After, too. I'm showing the dog, not you. Oh, sorry. Never mind. They like the dog. They like the dog better than me. Well, no, they like you, too. A snack pack. What am I drinking? Um, lime sparkling water from Wegmans. No, that's snack pack, doggy. Snack pack's a little one. Lunchies over here. Uh, Scorpio Lynn kissing 
Snack pack or me? I don't know. Oh. There's lunchbox. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at all dopey. <laughs> I know. <laughs> dopey. Um, no update on Fernanda. I've reached out to her, but she has not responded. Oh, I'm working on an update on Ashley. Trashley, you guys have been asking me about her. <laughs> I'm working on an update with her. Um, oh, thank you, Texas lady. Um, if you guys have specific questions about Ashley, I've got an open line of communication with her now. So um, uh, if you have questions, let me know and I can see if I can get them answered. I know. <laughs> yes, Yolanda said stuff about the Uche story. She's basically like, oh, Uche, you're not my type anyway. Um, I don't have any update on Danielle. Um, there, no, Ashley. <laughs> Ashley has a line of lipstick coming out. So, um, that she's working on with, um, a woman that does like Botox and stuff like that. And I'm actually going to be working with the woman who does the Botox. I'm going into, that's one of my partnerships that's coming up. She's going to do this. She's going to do Kybella for me on this. Um, so, <laughs> um, so that's going to be, it's not nailed down yet, but, um, <laughs> Yolanda is a clown. No, Yolanda is a cunt cake is what we've determined her name is. A cunt cake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so the shade that Yolanda posted about Uche, I don't have it in front of me, um, but it's like, um, it was about how, like, she she never liked him anyway, you know, something like that. Um, what do they do to your neck? It's, it's an injection of Kybella that, like, kills off the fat that's right there on this particular kind of fat, and it makes, gets rid of your double chin. Um, no, Ashley's divorced. Yes, Yolanda's Cuntosaurus Rex. <laughs> or Cunt Cake, whichever. Yeah, I think Yolanda's just scrambling at this point because she got called out on this stuff. Everybody is Team Uche, and Yolanda's just, she, I think she's scrambling. <laughs> I like that Anna call. <laughs> 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 Stephanie is a cam girl. Who's that? She's not really a cam girl. She um she takes like tasteful pictures of herself and she sells them on her like Patreon and stuff. Is she hot? Yeah, I think so. Hmm. I don't have any big ed advanced gossip, no. Why hmm. did we hate Yolanda? <laughs> Why well, Instagram people tell me I uh, I should follow Big Ed? Who's Big Ed? Um, that is one of the cast members. Oh, my Instagram people tell me I need to follow him. Well, you can follow him if you want. I, I only follow like three people. If, uh, is it really expensive to do your neck? Yeah. Um, I th ish. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Scorp's getting jealous. Scorp, are you getting jealous? <laughs> Yeah, she sells nudes, but they're sort of like, they're like tastefully done. Yeah. Yolanda is just, no. Yolanda's canceled. It'll be interesting to see what happens with her storyline. Yolanda's the older black lady that's being catfished. Um, the um guy, <laughs> that's Larry, David, Charles, Paul, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and d -d 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 what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, we we haven't seen him yet. He should be on this Sundays, I'm hoping. <laughs> You're not the only home wrecking horse, Gort. Yolanda's trying to play everybody, and she's kind of a bitch about it. 
yeah, well, Yolanda's husband was a jewelry thief going <laughs> years. Oh, hi, Luna. Hey, baby girl. Yeah, I think Yolanda may be catfishing TLC, too. Hanakawa, how are you feeling? He sometimes had a female accomplice, yeah. We don't know what TLC knows about Yolanda's story. Um, we don't know how complicit TLC is in this story. That's one piece of this puzzle we don't know. Is um, We know that Yolanda's been playing this whole thing. We don't know what TLC's role in it is. Ooh, watching from Fiji. Ah. Yes, Yolanda's... Well, Yolanda is also a catfish. It's kind of, why are we praising home wreckers? Female. <laughs> Thank you for taking us on vacation with you. <laughs> you could be choking on something. No, it's not Uche on the phone on the show. He's a completely different person. The person on the phone is the Williams guy whose real name is Marvin Williams. Yeah, is it weird that her second boyfriend, who's also Nigerian, admitted that she's only looking for money and to promote her book? I'm just saying, that's why we don't like Yolanda. <laughs> but, um, there's more than that, I think, involved with Yolanda. Um, um, do you guys have questions for Hetero Life Mate? They don't want to talk to me. No. Open the door to Yahoo Boys. <laughs> um, but Uche is single. He actually said he was um, he was going to pop in here. Um, Yolanda's book is about dieting, but not dieting. Losing weight without dieting. Ash is sending dick pics? What? I don't do lives during the show, no. No Angela and Michael news, no. <laughs> so far, I like our bisexual couple. Yeah, Stephanie and Erica, um, and they both have dogs, and Stephanie has a dog that looks just like um, my two. So she's got like a black lab mix, just like my two hooligans, so... We've talked. We've talked about that. <laughs> Where the fuck is two six three one four Amy? Shut the I've, fuck up. I have no idea. What is she doing? Do I need to block her? She says I'm too clingy. Give you space. I'm just laying in my bed. Shut up. Does she know who you are? No, I don't know. <laughs> about to call her the c word. <clears throat> this is my my business here. Petting my dog. She probably doesn't know who you are. Um, well, when I say your name again, I'll, I'll see. What do I think about Ash posting fan comments in his stories? Uh, he is trying way too hard with this. Every story that he posts, he tags me in. Just FYI, he, he, he hidden tags me. If you guys listen to the, the, this most recent episode of the broadcast we talked, or the previous one, I'm not sure, we talked about that, um, cast member blind tagging me um that's him he tags me on all of his all of his um <laughs> pictures all of his stories yeah and we can't figure it out because i think he tags um hanakawa too so we're not sure I'm, i don't know what his point is in tagging us 
because they're, they don't have anything to do with us. It's not like when Tom tags me, you know, um, you know, Tom tags me because he loves me and, <laughs> okay, there's that Amy girl again. A- Amy, what, what is your problem with hetero life mate? Do you know who he is? I don't know. Um, you're respectable. <laughs> Chantel and Pedro, what we know about them is they're coming with a um, season two of Family Chantel. No info on Anna and Marcel, no. Yeah, um, Tom loves me, so he's tagging, he, he likes to tag me in some of his stuff. Not everything that he posts, like Ash does, but Tom Tom will post me in stuff that like, that I can repost to make fun of him. He knows that I, you know, he gives me, he gives me that to, so I can make fun of him. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful how you and Tom's relationship has blossomed, given mm-hmm. how it began? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Yeah. You're going to get, if you, you're going to get dick pics. <laughs> yeah. Tom is very thirsty, but it's funny because Tom was the reason my Instagram blew up around 20,000 followers because I was exposing his fraud. And now he like, he sends me messages that he, I, I'm like his favorite blog account. <laughs> so a frauded family night out. What do you mean? What do you mean, Sarah? We don't go out. We're homebodies. Who's Tom dating? Last I know, Tom was dating Amanda, the blonde girl from Pittsburgh. No, she'll show him to me, and I'll show him to you. Because I have all Texas Lady seventy nine. She had no way. Yeah, she. What did she? What did she ask? She said, "Should Heather life mate be worried about Tom?" No. Okay. That's a good question. Excellent question. Thanks for looking out. Okay. (laughs) Oh, like a meetup. Oh, well, okay. So when I go to New York City, once I get that date squared away, um, I'll do a frauded meetup in New York City. So we can at least do that for those people that are around there. I don't think it's sad, Kathleen. I'd love this. But can hetero life mate salsa? Yes. (laughs) Can Actually, you? you cannot. Uh huh. Fashion hetero life mate is my boyfriend. Him, say hi, wave. Hi, I'm just following along here. See, <laughs> this is Inception. Whoa! <laughs> Not the chip kind. Not the chip kind. Ha ha! call was. Burning you. Sick burn, bro. He, um, fashion, he also produces the broadcast. Any cast members I'm friendly with who are actually decent people? Um, I would say Erica and Stephanie seem to be. Um, David and Annie seem to be too. Um, how do I know so much? Where do I get my info? Secret. Lots of lots of places. No, sure. no Ben and Akini news. No. <laughs> so the Darcy and her sister thing, right? Right. We were watching when they were trying on the wedding dresses. Yes. They kind of threw us the curveball. Yes. Yeah, I I don't know what was going on with Stacy. Right, is mm-hmm. the sister? Yeah. Um, she's seen better days. Yeah, <laughs> they look really bad. Darcy looked fine. No, they look really bad. I thought Darcy looked fine. Oh, okay. They look exactly the same, but okay. But they didn't in that. That's yeah, because her makeup. Was t- <laughs> and her hair was kind of frazzled. I do not have any update on Nikki and Mark. No. Yeah, her hair was bad. Her makeup was bad. Yeah. I mean, her hair just didn't look done. It just looked mm-hmm. like she got out of bed and threw a rubber band in the back. Of Is Jonathan ever going to like me like Tom does? I don't know. Jonathan did unblock me without being asked to, so I don't know. 
Um, but I think Tom has realized, I think Tom became my friend because he realized no faces. the, um, so mean. the <laughs> that it's better to have me on your side. <laughs> yes, Sarah from Seattle. You're one of us, aren't you? You're in our tribe. So now Amy's trying to be nice. Okay, Amy, I could, I'll be nice back. That's fine. <laughs> Jonathan of Jonathan and Fernanda from season six. Um, not that I'm not that I've been made aware of Crouching Tiger. Um, I don't know if there's any other spinoffs in the making. Paul needs a spinoff. Yeah, but he's not going to get one. Why not? Because he can't keep his mouth shut. Because uh, he talks to you too much. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Was I not supposed to say that? <laughs> okay, I'm in trouble now. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, I suspect they did, Matt. I suspect they intentionally did that. What I suspect is when they filmed Pillow Talk, they didn't know if they were going to be using Jeffrey or not. Because Pillow Talk is filmed like months in advance with what they have. I suspect they didn't know if they were going to be using um, Jeffrey or not at that point, too. So they... Um, <laughs> I totally got the mom look. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I talked to Paul. <sighs> And Fiza is dating Leo. I have pictures on my page. Congrats on 80K. Thank you. 80K followers. Yeah. Good job. You work hard on that. Thank you. Thank you, babe. So that's it. That's it, you guys. I don't have anything else. Any last questions? I'll take over. Okay. Because it's gonna, it's gonna, it, we're gonna hit an hour at eleven. Oh, okay. Hi, right, everybody. Hi. What? I, they can hear me, okay? Who is? No, Leo's not from the cast. I can answer your questions. Okay, thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, eighty k. She's worked really hard, Emily, to get that that follower count up and it's cool because the whole account just started as like a like a fun little thing to do on the side hi dallas radio girl uh they all say thanks for the tea oh you're welcome you're welcome you guys oh come on again kelly 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 wants you back hi ck low ck lola jack hi sir oh they're all happy that i'm here hi guys remember there's a delay i know <laughs> I have to tell you that every time. I know. Hi, everybody. It's nice to see you. She talked me into getting my own Instagram account. You should come follow me sometime. I put a new Instagram post on today. Did you? Yeah. Which one? There's a. They put up a sign. Oh, the bathroom one. I yeah, saw yeah. Yeah. How much of a crash course have you done between your first appearance on the podcast to now? Well, Bonnie, I can help answer that question. Because um, every episode you give me new every episode, I give her new feedback. Yeah. And so basic bitch says, hi. no, you said you're not sick anymore, Hanakawa. So every episode I give her feedback and I think she gets a little bit better every time. Um, but I do think that and I've said this to her many times. I think that the, the Patreon, I actually like the Patreon better than the main podcast because like you're more loose. I feel like yeah, you and Hanakawa are more loose and more relaxed for the uh, Patreon. Mm -hmm. It's not me just trying to sell you guys on the fake Patreon. I just think that I, I enjoy it more. Not that the other one's bad. No, the we other just, one's good. I think we give less fucks about it. Yeah, probably. Was Sasha on tonight? Yes, Katrina. Yes, yes, yes Sasha was. He was. She lets me curse. Which Hanakawa says, "I are encourage you? it." And we talk about personal training for my vagina. Do I really watch all the live shows with Friday? No, I do not. I catch some here and there. She's usually – see, here's the thing. He goes to bed at 8. My, my, my real job, I have to be at work at 4 a.m. Monday through Friday. So 
Um, so I'm usually going to bed at like eight. So sometimes she'll lay in bed next to me and have it on. And so I'll like kind of watch it while, as I'm falling asleep and I'll catch some stuff and ask questions and that type of thing. The dogs watch with me. The dogs watch. Yeah. So that's how I saw the, um, the thing with Stacy and, and the wedding, uh, the wedding dress thing with Stacy and Darcy, which I was totally like fooled. I was like, Ooh, is, is Darcy finally getting married to Tom? To t- I didn't know to who. <laughs> I just thought, is she, is Darcy finally, did she finally find that magical someone? But no, she was just randomly trying on wedding dresses because she wants to design them, apparently. Yes. Which couple is interesting to you this season, HLM? Oh, me. Um, well, uh, who's the woman from Pennsylvania? Lisa. Yeah, Lisa's kind of interesting because I sense a train wreck coming and I can't wait to see how it develops. She's the raw dog. The one who wants to. She have was the one that was like looking through the dude's Facebook, going uh-huh. like, "Yeah, we got a problem here. Like, you uh-huh. can't be having all these women." Gotta tighten up your Facebook. Yeah, tighten it up. And she's the one that's going to have sex with them without a condom. Yeah, there you go. Better watch out for agency, <laughs> please. <laughs> um, He's got nothing to worry about. What is it? Is Jillian is, on here? Is Agent J on here? <laughs> if, agent, if Agent C tried to home wreck this he, home, he wouldn't. Don't worry. You would fall asleep before he finished talking, because he just talks. And talks, <laughs> talks, talks, talks <laughs> Julian might be on here. Stop. Who's Julian? His girlfriend. Oh, hi, Julian. She might be. I don't know. Julian, you probably agree with me. Yeah, that's probably true. He's pretty long-winded, right? Yeah. York, Pennsylvania is a sad place. That's not true. I know somebody. I used to work with somebody who lived in York. Um. Hannah Kyle was saying, no, but I don't know about what. Um, Raw dog. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that so I would say, yeah, they're pretty interesting to me. Soldier Boy? Yeah. I'm more popular in Nigeria right now than Soldier Boy is. Really? My video with Uche went viral in, in Nigeria. It's got like 3,000 views. Wow. Yeah. I didn't realize 3,000 people in Nigeria had the internet. No, I think he, he just showed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> he just know. walked down the street and said, hey, watch this video. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Hello from Alaska. Hi, Alaskan Jet. I've always wanted to go to Alaska. Never been. I used to live there. I know. It's telling her. Oh, she used to live there. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Suarez. She's good peeps. Um, yeah. So what else is going on? So as somebody asked me before, if, how am I liking Instagram? I need people to follow. Like I follow you mm-hmm. and I follow Hannah Kawa. He's been on Twitter th- for his whole adult life. Like, yeah, I'm a Twitter dude. I'm a Twitter guy. So this whole Instagram thing is kind of new to me. It's a similar concept, though. Just follow who you want to see stuff from. Suarez. I, she said I pronounced it correctly the first time. High five to you, too. Born and raised in Alaska. Nice. Why did I join Instagram? Because um, I was persuaded to by her. I didn't persuade you to do anything. Yeah. Did I? You said I should try it. Oh. Oh, did you go see Silent Bob, Sarah Sunshine 82? We saw him when they were here. Follow me, duh. Scorp- Am I allowed to follow Scorpio? You can follow Lynn? Scorp. Okay. I'll follow you, Scorpio. Lynn. You can follow Lisa. I don't know the feed. Like, Lisa posts the stuff because she does like Will we get married or are we cool with the situation? So here's the deal, okay? Here's the situation. <laughs> um, that's do a very your, good do question. Your, do your Dr. Now voice. Dr. Now? You're, this is a very bad oh, situation. Oh, this is a very bad situation. <laughs> Hello, how you doing? Um, <laughs> so here's the deal, right? I think eventually we will. I think, because we've talked about it before. It'll be like sort of the type of thing where when the kids want us to, <laughs> when the kids are like, "Will you guys just get married already?" Um, but it'll be like a low key event, probably down by the river in Alexandria. Because you want them to get married at that park in Old Town. Yeah, I want to go to the park. Darn that doctor now voice so cool. Thank you very much. How y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Um. I want to be followed. I wreck no homes. Okay, Sarah Sunshine. 82. Yeah, she's cool. She's good peeps. Do you know? Do you remember all these people? I'm gonna have to write these down. So I remember how to. No, I, 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 oh, yeah. So I'm gonna type them down. Most of these people, a lot of these people are my like reg, are people who are here regularly, so I know them. No van involved, right? No, there won't be a van. A van. 
down by the river. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. I got it. That's Ben. <laughs> oh, yeah. You want to come out? Val, Val, Val is, yeah, Katarina says fly her out to photograph the wedding. Cool. Sounds like a plan. We don't need a K-1 visa because we're both American citizens. And Hanukawa is going to uh, – she's ordained, so she's going to marry us. Nice. Okay, so Hanukawa is going to come too. Yep. All right. Um, if agency wants to give a speech, he'll have to start like three days before the actual wedding so he finishes by the okay. time we want to actually get married. <laughs> <clears throat> um Someone fill me in on the home wrecking joke. I actually have no idea about the home wrecking joke. <laughs> because Scorpio Lynn always is wanting me to say hi to had her life mate for her. So I made a joke that no, I wasn't going to, you home wrecking whore, and it just sort of took on a life of its own and now it's a whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay, Scorp. She doesn't know about us. Alexandria, Louisiana. No, Alexandria, uh, Virginia. Virginia. Texas lady. Not Louisiana. Not that there's anything wrong. I like Louisiana. If we get married, we have to have... Wait, just be sure if you get married, you have your shit ready for... And then no. The reception. Oh, yeah. No repeats of... How many Scorpios are on here right now? Just one. Only one that matters, Gen Zero. Only one Scorpio that matters. I got the mom eyes again. <laughs> no, I didn't get the mom eyes. <laughs> TLC should do our wedding, they say. I'm oh, gone. <laughs> <laughs> if they'll pay for it, that'd be awesome. Yeah, if TLC will pay for it, I'll do it. <clears throat> yes, I watch basketball. Lizzie underscore G. Are we near Richmond? No. Well, I mean, Couple relatively hours. speaking. Tattoo rings. That, that I might do that. I don't know. Isn't getting a tattoo of your significant other kind of like the uh, guarantee you're going to split up? Guarantee you're going to split up, right? Yeah. A Winnie the Pooh theme wedding? That'd be interesting. The fuck? Who's, all, who's suggesting that? <laughs> Diane Jordan says that. I would dress up as Tigger, obviously, because I'm. Because uh, my, uh, my tail, my head's made of cotton and my tail's made out of springs. I think that's what it is. Is this a hobby or full-time job for you? It's a hobby. Oh, we're about to get kicked off. Oh. We'll come guys, right back on. We got to go. We'll come right back. Stay tuned. 